Now we need to take a look at logarithmic functions, which is the next section, 3.2. So exponential functions and logarithmic functions turn out to be what we call inverses of each other. They undo each other, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, you know, squaring, square roots. Exponentials and logarithms undo each other. And so their graphs are somewhat related to one another. Whereas here, with exponential functions, we have a domain of all real numbers, or minus infinity to infinity, and a range of all positive real numbers from zero to positive infinity, not including zero, Logarithms, these two things are switched. The domain of a logarithm, you can only take the logarithm of a positive number. So this ends up being a new restriction for us. Before we only had can't divide by zero and you can't take square roots of negatives. Well now we have a new restriction. You can't take the log of a negative number and you can't take the log of zero you're only allowed to take the log of a positive number. The exponential functions had no uh, x-intercept, but had a y-intercept of 0, 1. Well, this is going to be kind of flipped for logarithms. Logarithms will have an x-intercept, but they'll have no y-intercept. And the x-intercept will be flipped itself. It'll have the intercept of 0, 1. And you can say other things like, you know, exponential functions have a horizontal asymptote of y equals 0. And so this kind of flips around instead of being horizontal the logarithm has a vertical asymptote of not y, but x equals 0. So, just like when we say you know, if y is the square root of x, what we really mean is that y is some number that when you square it, you get x. The same thing is true for logarithms. When we say that y equals log base a of x, what we mean is we mean that a to the y is equal to x. So if you notice, you know, what's happened here is we've flipped around a and y and left x on the right as the rightmost variable. So there's a couple things we can do here. If we look at something like 21, we now have a new way to say that the square root of 81 is 9. Instead of saying it this way, 81 is our a, one half is our y, and nine is our x. We can rewrite this using logarithms by saying that just switch y and a so it becomes one half is equal to log base a, which in this case is 81, of x of 9. So x stayed where it was. The 1 half and the 81 just flipped places. So this is a new way of saying the same thing. Rather than saying the square root of 81 is 9, we can say that 1 half is the log base 81 of 9. Let's take another look at that. So 
So if we have the square root of 1 16th equals a fourth, this is number 4 I'm looking at, a is 1 16th, y is a half, and x is the 1 fourth. So the 1 fourth will stay as the rightmost number. Then I write log, and it's not the y, the exponent, that'll come in the middle. I'm flipping a and y. So this will be log base 1 16th. And then comes the equal sign. And then I write, it's not a that's first, but now it's y. So it's 1 half is equal to log base 1 16th of 1 fourth. That's the same thing as saying the square root of 1 16th is 1 fourth. And so it might be helpful for you to rewrite logarithmic expressions into their exponential form. Like for example in the following. We're supposed to rewrite log base 7 of 49 equals 2. Doesn't really mean much. You know what? These logs are still weird. They're still new. Still really haven't gotten a good feel for them. So if we convert them to, if I rewrite this so it's in the right form, so I have 2 equals log base 7 of 49. Oh, okay. Then 2 is my y and 7 is a, so that's going to be 7 to the y, 7 to the second is equal to x is the last number, 49, so that stays the same. So saying log base 7 of 49 equals 2, that's just a weird way, at least weird for the moment, of saying 7 squared is 49. Let's take a look at one more example and then kind of review a few basic properties of logarithms. On 16, we're told that log base 10 of 10 is equal to 1. Now, what could this mean in exponentials, what we're more familiar with? Well, let me rewrite this. Log base 10 of 10. So this 1 is y, 10 is a, and x is 10 as well. And we're going to co convert this into a to the y equals x. So a is 10, y is 1, and x is 10 as well. So this is the exponential form of this equation. Saying log base 10 of 10 equals 1 is the same thing as saying 10 to the first is equal to 10. There's really no difference. We're just writing it in a weird way now. But it turns out this use of logarithms is extremely beneficial.